guys, Kuro Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are here with a new movie reaction, a movie reaction we put out every single week, by mm -hmm. the way. We do. This week is Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which is a movie that I've heard a lot about, but like nothing about what the movie is, is about, just people being like, you need to watch this movie. I've heard Buzz. Yes, Buzz. That's all I've heard. I know the premise. I know an actor. I, I had a moment where I was on Reddit, like we have a subreddit, Blind Wave, yeah. like our Blind Wave, however mm -hmm. Reddit works. And someone put, is Blind Wave going to react to everything, everywhere, all at once? And there had been something previously where people were like, react to this, react to this. And I thought someone was just kind of being like, it was a joke. It's sarcastic. Yeah. 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 It's like, yeah. can they react to everything, everywhere, all at once? That's what it feels and like when you like, get so many reaction requests. Yeah, yeah, I know. One day, maybe. Yeah. And then uh, I was like, we, you know, we, we cover as much as we can. We try. <laughs> but then people were like, it's a movie. I'm like, what? <laughs> you. I didn't even That's know. So I was a fool. So That's I, good. I don't feel like I know anything about this movie. Yeah. I can't wait for the sequel. Nowhere, nobody, not at all. I, I know an actor, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I think. I think that's this movie. Gotcha. But that's all I know. Uh, we're trying something a little bit different today. We actually went over to our Twitter, which is at Blind Wave Crew, uh -huh. and we asked people to submit questions and comments and theories and stuff like that about this movie. Mm -hmm. So it's something that we might be trying to do more regularly on this channel. So make sure you go over to Twitter, following us there, and we'll let you know whenever we're looking for questions for stuff like this, which is more one-off times. Yeah. And really subscribe serious. here because we have a new movie every single uh, week, yeah. and we have polls over our Patreon to help decide those, and we have tons of other stuff every single Day. Yeah, on Patreon, you can help vote for what movie we watch every other week. Mm -hmm. We pick. this. I think this one was our pick here, so yep. I'm excited for it. Also, you can check out the full link down in the description below, but let's not waste any more time. Everything, everywhere, all that. We all have to hit it together. What? We killed it. Aaron, you fucked up. Aaron! This is my fault. What the movie starting? We, we can't stop, stop it! <laughs> Do the whole movie shot through this mirror? That would be crazy. Don't. But I don't think so. I think so. Oh, but there's another mirror over there. What is it, bag up there, have eyes? Yeah. Because it's question. silly. All right, let me show you. That's all I do. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you Oh my gosh. Is that, was it James Hong? <laughs> the voice sounds like him, and I thought the picture looked like him. The the bird from Kung Fu Panda, right? Who's this yeah. guy? I know this guy. I know him from something too. Disillusion. Oh no. Wait, what? Divorce. You yeah. Said divorce there. Oh. How can I help? Hold on, I can't breathe. <laughs> hey, she's from uh, Parks and Rec. <laughs> Dude, me and Chancey haven't stolen a different Obi. <laughs> he loves it. I bet he does. Oh, the camera. Who's that? Calculating. Establishing connection. Connection established. What Holy the? shit! What, what just the happened? Fuck. Just did parkour. He's Jackie Chan! Why is he parkouring? It's like... Is he an agent? Yeah. They're activating people. <laughs> the fuck just happened? Ooh, ooh, check the camera! I knew the cameras were there for a reason. So why was it glitching? It was establishing a connection. Go, go. It is, yeah. I can tell by the back of his head. Becky. <laughs> You You have to try and eat healthier. You are getting fat. <laughs> that's not when she mean. says something like that, it means she cares. <laughs> but that's not that's right, nice you. to hear. Yeah. She wanted to say something else, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think that would go over well at home. Sure. Melanie, <laughs> give it a shot. <laughs> you know, that's not. That's not what you. <laughs> just say the nice thing. <laughs> Odd, dude. Just yeah. everything's happening. I QuickBooks. What was the camera thing? Like without that, I'd just be like, this is like a drama comedy kind of family thing going on. But then what was that? Who the fuck is Waymond? Him? No. 
everything. So there's an everything, there's an everywhere, and then there's an all at once? Is that what we're doing? I want to look up Wayman's act. <clears throat> That's Wayman, Eric. No, Eric, don't do it. I want to look up his No, actor. you don't need to worry about it. I need to. No, put no, your phone down. There's something important put your phone about that guy. Not, nothing important. Put your phone down. I know him so there's well. Not nothing important. So was she wanting a divorce? Yeah. Or was he wanting a divorce? He, he doesn't seem like he's wanting he a divorce. He has the paperwork. He, yeah, he, he was given to it, I thought, right? <clears throat> That's what I thought first, but then it seems like this is... So you gotta want to do it. Huh. When we leave this elevator, you can either turn left towards your scheduled audit appointment, or you can turn right and go into the janitor's closet. Sun Jin Liu. Why would I go into the janitor's closet? Not now. What the fuck is going on? You the Alternate life path. That's what I said. There it is. She's remembering her birth? I'm sorry. The moment you're situated in your meeting, follow these instructions. What the fuck? Did he write instructions on the divorce papers too? Yeah. I think so. Well, what changed then? I don't, I don't know what happened. Maybe them being all individual. What is she wearing? I mean, it scanned her brain. Maybe we're in the Matrix. <laughs> Makes as much sense as anything. Yeah, dude, we could be in the Matrix right now, us. Switch suits to wrong feet, close eyes. This is Wang, are you with ah. us? Isn't it? <laughs> yes. Jamie Lee? Yes. Yep, Jamie Lee Curtis. Switch shoes to wrong feet. Close your eyes. Imagine you were in the janitor's closet. But then how's she gonna read step three? Yeah, right? It's a flawless plan. We well, should you be read step first. three once you're in the janitor's closet. Okay. What? Holy shit! We just broke. This is a reality split thing, like a <laughs> life path. What was it called? I'm another version of all from another life path, another universe. Hmm. I'm here because we need your help. I've spent years searching for the one who might be able to match this great evil. I know it's a lot to take in right now. Ah. Mrs. Wang! Hello! Holy shit! <laughs> Look, I'm sure you have a lot on your mind. Do you see these? The butt plugs? Yeah, they butt plugs. You don't get one of these. Auditor Unless of the month. seen a lot of bullshit. Excuse my crunch. No, you <laughs> Well, I'm Whoa, the subtitles. Yeah. Oh. Here is up. They're gonna kill us. What? Do you think maybe there's more time so we can redo all this? Do not worry. This is just the burner universe we're using for communication. Burner universe? No more. It is time to fight. No more. <laughs> oh, shit. Huh. What the fuck's going on? We're watching Fight Club. There's an evil attack in the multiverse, and yeah. she's been chosen because she's good. Simple. I have a guess on who he is, but I don't want to say it in case it sounds racist. Is he short round? You might be right. I think he's short round. I thought you said you weren't going to say it. I have to say it now. You just be I, quiet. I'm trying to follow the story. I have to read and listen. Yeah, it's so hard. The multiverse is bad and good. You got to take care just of it. Just read. My Doesn't ears matter. and my eyes are fighting each other. Ah! Oh, she's a fight. No, she like forgot something. Maybe she's giving it back to her. He just punches her when she comes up. <laughs> so the husband didn't know about the papers. No, the husband did know. He didn't he, give them to her, but now she has them. He didn't know that his other self gave them to her. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, folks. Everyone, remain calm. He's just gonna take him out. What's with these headset things? Allow them to go between universes. <laughs> get away! Get away! Don't film! He's got a fanny pack. Is he gonna eat the whole tube? He's just gotta do something weird and out of the ordinary, right? Like switch your shoes? Something uncharacteristic that would break your world line. Yeah. Right? But wait, if he is aware of it... Uh oh, oh to be 
she gets uh, real when the fanny pack comes off. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're already dead. That strap is so long. Did you see how big the rock got after he took off his fanny pack? Dude, this is already like one of my favorite things I've ever seen. It's like nunchucks. It's fanny nunchucks. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Double kill. Oh, that was good. I like that. Man. Oh, sweet. This is good. Wow. This is really good. Dude, no. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god. That, that was shot. a fun shot, too. <laughs> I have to wear a fanny pack now. Right, we all gotta get them. I've been pushing fanny packs for a while. No, you haven't. <laughs> I fill mine with rocks. You're not cool enough to bring that back. Oh, you can do it one day. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Jeez. <laughs> that was a fall, man. Mail cart. He dropped it. Nice. Oh. No. Dude, did you see that? Coolest Pratt Falls I've ever seen. The fire alarm is going off. What well, wouldn't have known? He put the clip in it Can and we just pulled it out. Just restart the movie. No! Dude, this movie's potential is skyrocketed. What are you talking about? She's Michelle Yeoh. The, poten oh, the potential gosh. was huge before. It's so huge. It could have been anything. Jobu Tupaki. Jobu Tupaki? The big nose lady? Maybe, or joy. Maybe. Whoa, that was a shot. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, he's in a baby outfit. Yeah. It was the aspect ratio. Oh, he's just switching. Like changing the yes, channel. He's switching. He's quantum from... leaping. Is that where your parents are? Yep, yeah, it's joy. joy. So she switched into the joy that was here. Is that why she's so important? Because it's her daughter? She's like a anti-Sarah Connor. What about her dad? <laughs> He's just eating ooh, pudding. Ooh, ooh. Dude, He's eating all the pudding. Yeah, gong gong. I thought he was just quoting a song at first. Oh, no. She's right there. There you are. Oh, I think it's I finally hand. understand why I... <laughs> A what stapler. are you doing? You never do that. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, it's so scary. That was weird. Change their physiological makeup. Jeez. Holy shit. She became like a horror villain thing you have to escape. Okay, now paper cuts. Four of them, one between each finger. Oh, oh no. fuck! Dude, he's. Paper cuts only happen when you want to try. <laughs> yeah, we're not trying. True, oh, man. Use a thinner piece of paper, or more sheets. Man, I hate paper cuts so much. You get it? Oh, I don't want to see it. There's one. Nice. So is this what's happening in the other universe right now that connects them, or is it just a thing? Why is I think it's just a thing. Yeah, it's... But it's specific though. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that was great. So cool. yeah. Oh, another green button. Jimless doesn't know how to fight, though. Jamie Lee Curtis is beating the fuck out of him. No, no. The green thing. They went professional wrestler. Oh, wrestling? Huh. She's going for a backbreaker. Yep. Oh, shit, grab the exit sign. Oh, shit. Exit signs don't hold up very much. Also, it's a work. Oh, he oh, broke his oh, fall. Oh, his fall. Good job. Dude, this is like a horror movie or like a horror video game. Yeah. Feels so fresh too. I love it. Oh my gosh, crouching tiger, hidden dragon. No kung fu. Dude, she is the best sword fight. Like one of the best sword fights in cinema, film, film history. Yep. Is that from Crouching Tiger? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I've never seen it. She's so good. It's it's insulting. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I was insulting. You would because I'll never be that good. Don't <laughs> you love her and mean it? And mean it. The next best pass, I'll break your own arm or take a nap. Are you? <laughs> take a nap? I could break your own arm? Maggie can do like, that. Just. Wait. No. No. No, that's the wrong one. What bad thing can happen? No. 
through the emergency. When we just down it, you always get pulled away. Wow! Getting pulled away. Ah, oh, shit! Dude, the two windows are so good. I need to find the right Evelyn. And this one, it's not the one. No, no, wait! Let me try it again! Evelyn? Find this in my shot! Oh no. He switched back. Ah! What's happening in my head? Ha Shit. God, let me fucking him now move. Rip it off a door. The action. You have to mean it. Kiss her. Yep. How do you mean it when you don't mean you it? You have to mean it. Join for the kiss. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Go! The knee! <laughs> <laughs> Someone's meets a kung fu master. Whoa! What That's the hell? Awesome. Yep. <laughs> what? She's in movies. Movies now, now right? Yep. Just Michelle Yeoh now. Yeah, I was gonna say this is just this actual is press her. material. <laughs> Crazy Rich Asian. You know what? That's a really good way of doing that, to where you can like let, let's use the actual character, like actors. Ah, cool. Oh! There was so much from them. Okay. It just really got all redirected, I guess. I can't believe Jamie Lee Curtis is our big bad. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah! <laughs> that might be the end of Jamie Lee. Oh, oh shit! Fuck. <laughs> I don't know why I'm... <laughs> I was thinking like a broken neck or something like that. She just went through the wall. Dude, we were at that tax lot of place for so long. But we're still there. We haven't left yeah, the tax we haven't left. Yet. We're still reversed. Okay. We were on the 10th floor. I thought they were dipping. We have like eight more floors to go. Oh, Is that everything bagel? Yeah. <gasps> Is that ironic? In my universe, the cattle were killed off. One of the many things we lost in our war against Jobu. No dairy? No dairy. No cows. Half and half. <laughs> no. It's pure gold. Oh, oh, I get it. Sometimes. Oh, look at it dripping down his chin. Oh, yeah. I want to go back to the other universe. Warm half. And Shut half. it down! Shut it down, you hear me? Come back! Okay, okay, okay! Okay. He's so good. <laughs> Shut it down! No, oh, the cameras. <clears throat> get sucked in. Shut it down! No, we need to do this because I think she needs to see that she's not fully happy with this. Like, she wants more. It's the temptation. Maybe. <coughs> or maybe she is married with to him in this universe. It just things played out differently, you know. She yeah. thought she didn't need him. <laughs> Evelyn, come oh, back. No. Evelyn, jump to another combat universe. Try peeing yourself. It's always a good jump back. <laughs> Try peeing yourself. It's always a good option. He's so funny. <laughs> that looks ominous. That's a pig. Mm-hmm. Yep. And an Elvis suit. Yep. Why do you look so stupid? <laughs> Why are you smoking? <laughs> you I love her. You're a pig. Can't be here. I realize the security guard there with the stuff in his nose. Whoa! Whoa! She, a, she just hit a bug a hit. out of a cop's gun. Oh, Looks like she's fighting the mask. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. We're shooting. Why'd you shoot so many times? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Wow. And now we just want to throw a sunny. I 
am worried about the things that are going to happen to that man. Damn, man. Choose your two booty. Oh, but it's a good solution. Yep. It's yellow. You're not locked in. No, no. Where'd she go? Oh. Huh. <laughs> did she jump? She's off the damn map. <laughs> what? What? The They're multiverse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's oh in a universe where they have hands. Hot dog fingers. All right, well. I think I'm in love with this movie. That's pretty far out there. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't understand just what how fast the, the multiverse is. What Oh my god, she did not want Space Odyssey! Hot dog sure, hand! Show sure Star Wars, I want you to look at his hand cut off. They kill normal fingered yeah. people. Let me help you open up your mind, huh? Oh, shit. No. Mm -hmm. Squirt some ketchup in her mouth. What a shot. This is the thing she's building. You've never done that before? It's a donut. It's a donut. No, it's a bagel. It's, it's a the... bagel. Oh. I'm gonna put everything on a bagel. <laughs> it's an everything bagel. Literally everything. Okay, so it wasn't ironing before. And it collapsed in on itself. Because <laughs> you see, when you really put everything a on a bagel, it's no longer it a bagel. This. Come on. Come on, Devon. The truth. What? Is the truth. Nothing. Nothing's truth. Matters. That's a temptation. It's a nihilistic Snap god. Snap out of it. A bagel. <laughs> Whoa! Is it a Dan? Yes. Yes, it is. Look at his wheelchair. He's from the other. Where we're going, we don't need <laughs> roads. Dude, why did the chair get all crazy upgraded? Did he? Was that what he was doing? Yeah. Because the chair was just a normal chair. Eating pudding and upgrading his chair. This is my favorite movie in years. <laughs> Hopefully, they just don't drop the ball. All you have to do is not drop the ball. Since Red Line? I don't think they. Okay. I'm sure there's a very good explanation for all of this. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? It's like that movie. Um, that movie. Okay, what are you talking about? Rakakuni. What? Rakakuni. You know the one with the chef? <laughs> and he makes bad food. Control. And then this raccoon sit on his head. <laughs> control him. And then he cooks good food. <laughs> wait, wait, you don't know what you're doing. Eyes. Why did I know it was in the eyes? Hey, We're down uh, the matrix. clean up in there, all right? Yeah. Oh. So you're gonna need a flamethrower. Where did she jump? No, it's green. Sorry, Abba. Oh, she found a universe that she was in the song. Whoa. Whoa! Alright. Was that in the tax office? Find your jumping pads! I thought that guy died! <laughs> what the? He's fucking a lamp! No, he's electric. I thought he was himself. shocking himself. Yeah. Oh. She blind! Both eyes? Dude, and then. She was carrying two sticks <sighs> like this! She, she a blind singer? She can fight in the dark. Downloading skills. Enhance hearing, improve mobility. Increase lung capacity. Because of the singing? It's because, yeah, she for the can, smoke. So she can hold her breath. It has a sword! So high for this. Because of being blind, the tear gas part doesn't bother her, I guess, maybe, too? She can hold her breath. She's Christ, she us. <gasps> oh. A science spinner! She can take the riot shield! Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, oh, 
<laughs> That's good. I like They're that gonna too. see her do shit. Whoa, she boomerang! Bo- Not she boomerang <laughs> the shield. She broke that shield on his face. Oh, okay. That was really cool. Some really good fights in this too. Yeah. Oh, the dog. What? Using the dog as a big nose. No ball and way. Chain. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> okay, you laugh, but there was actually a woman who was arrested for doing this. Shaft. Oh my Hibachi. god. Hibachi. What, is, what does this mean for Doug? Nothing good. Uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> that would have happened Mommy. anyway. <laughs> Step up, I'm giving some of your shifts to Chad. Fucking Chad. Oh, Chad's, Chad's pretty good, though. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him throw that up? He's like, da 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 Yeah. Awesome. I need another jumping pad. So I guess I do lose them all, right? Yeah. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's why you make oh, him look like butt no. plugs. No. He's, He's going to run and jump. He's going to run and jump. Guys, this is the best movie I've ever seen. They're fighting over a butt plug. Guys! Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, no! There's just so much wrestling. Oh, my God! He looked around like such a badass. He's still there! Oh my god. Oh. He, got he found he something got and improvised! This is so good. He improvised a butt plug! Why is every trophy some kind of phallic thing oh, that you can so shove good. in your ass? This is ridiculous. Dude, this oh. choreography is so good! It is, it's amazing. <gasps> no! Yes, switch them. What? Switch them. What? That would be a weird thing. <laughs> unplug them. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's just a plug. Yeah, it's unplug them. I know. Unbutt plug them. <clears throat> Where are we? Oh! You didn't see that last time? Yeah. That's... Oh, oh my gosh, the pinky muscles! This <laughs> 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 is a one pinky! <laughs> you see the flex of the muscle? Yeah! Oh, that doesn't even work. They're up here. <laughs> I love this movie so fucking much. <laughs> what the hell? This might be better than Hot Fuzz. <laughs> is this still, is this just part one? Is this whole movie a part one? I don't understand. That's a good point. It's, it's, it's part not, one everything. I didn't understand at first. Maybe I still don't. Please, help! Help! Wait, what? That's just the end of the part one yeah. movie. Daniels. Did we get the whole credits, you think? I, I thought people in the movie they... theater were so fucked up. People started leaving. Uh, the movie theater. Oh, yep. we're in the movie theater. Yes. Yeah, okay. That was the movie that she's watching. But she's Evelyn. Escaped. She plays Evelyn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how she was able to escape. Yeah, did this universe even have a joy? Well, it shouldn't, because they never got... Yeah, they're, they're married and have a daughter. So there's, yeah. right? so there's no joy in this universe. So this should be a safe one. But joy. So she's in all these different ones at the same time. Oh, that's why he's such oh a good my chef! God, that's why! <laughs> she was right. Oh, oh my no. gosh, that's a Turner! I feel like I know this kid, too. Oh, was that shit. Chad? That's why he was so good? That's why he was so That's good! Why he was so good. He had a raccoon on his head! We're back to the hot dogs. Chad. That From was the Hibachi. Hibachi Chad. Yeah, that was Hibachi, Hibachi Chad. Chad. Yeah. Why well, are we in the hot dog universe? Oh, what because she on? connected. She's she's fractured now. Are they together in this universe? Is that what's going on? I think so. I love you. And they were they were dancing. Okay. She has to love her in one universe, right? I guess. That's why she connected. I mean in infinite yeah. universes she must love her in one. <laughs> yeah. There's Miss, eyes on different laundry. Miss DJ. Oh man, I didn't even think about her making a big circle like that before. <laughs> so I can spot the difference. Everywhere. Now she's everywhere. 
Yeah. Okay, so the first thing we learned everything. Yes. Yeah. Now we're gonna be everywhere. But now she exists and What are you doing? No. She exposed him. Raccoon. Calm down. Did you kill him? What are you doing? Oh, Fractured oh. moments. Oh. Contra. <laughs> she just spread out to the entire multiverse. Yeah. Yeah. She's this is everywhere. Or everything. Or both. That's how she. What? Oh my god, I need to. Oh, and oh my gosh. Free. Whoa. Ah, she was a dog! I'm trying not to blink to see it all. Uh, <sighs> whoa. That's a lot. What the fuck? She's a rock. I like how they, <laughs> I was like, what do I do now? <laughs> this isn't in the handbook. But the atoms that make up their body are here. This is incredible. <laughs> Language. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, you can let her go. <laughs> That's what happened last time. Yeah, it would be hard to make things worse. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, he talked and got the till the 6 extension. PM thing. Yeah. That was at one twenty thirty five. How? That's impossible. It's just a statistical inevitability. It's nothing special. <laughs> He's special. The IRS giving you another week. That's, that's possible. <laughs> yeah, that's a statistic <laughs> impossibility. <laughs> Please. Oh my gosh. Can we, can we just stop fighting? You said, Wobo, this is a very strong world. I don't know what the heck is going on. But somehow, it feels like it's all my fault. I always see the good things. That's not because I'm a genius. Please, be kind. Especially when we don't know what's going on. I understand that you're not a fool. I'm not a fool. I am lit. Man, all women are off women. I like women. If you have a dream, I will still choose to be with you. Eight years. <laughs> yep. Before, when she was carrying her bags out, she stuck her leg through Makes the handle sense. and hopped and drug it out. She has her wrist. <laughs> her foot. Is there gonna be another universe where she's made of rubber or something? Turn to a rock. Yeah, make them all googly eyes. The third eye. Bye. Oh, it's so good. Googly eyes. She's become Tien. Oh, Tien. Ah! <laughs> there are no rules. I'm gonna get you. Come here, come here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> She's fighting with kindness. Everything doesn't mean nothing. Nothing means everything. Rekakuni taught me so much. I. I didn't even know yes. how to boil an egg. They taught me how to spin it. Oh, you gotta save him. What? Let's go rescue your city. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. Look at him go. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Chef Evelyn Spurring was the subtitle. <laughs> Guys. No, the bagel. Eat the bagel. Maybe. She didn't eat it before when he told her she was hungry. True, but this is something you haven't seen. Oh gosh. my gosh. She has a robotic mech suit. But she turned out to be stubborn, aimless, a mess. Just, Just like, like a mess. Papa. <laughs> 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 This is fighting everywhere, guys. Every strike is a new scene. We have a family plan, and it's free. You only visit when you need something. And why? No matter what, I still want to be here with you. I will always, always want to be here with you. Do. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Becky, you need to grow your hair. <laughs> 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 She cares. Yep. Evelyn, did you hear me? Sorry. What did you say? I don't know if I wrote enough notes. I don't think there are enough notes. Like, I, I, I'm positive I spent a good chunk in the beginning not writing anything because I wasn't sure what to write. Like, I kind of remember, like, dad activated. <laughs> like, I don't know what that means. You know, like, what? <laughs> but, like, I spent some huh? This movie got me, well, all the reactions today just got me real fucked up. It's very interesting. It was not what I was expecting it to be. I don't know what I was expecting it to be, but I don't think it was this. It definitely wasn't this. I think it's... Easily in my top five movies. Like and bias. Oh, we gotta give it time. Of all time. Yeah. No, yeah. no I can't. Rewatchability is low. Been, I know how I write. I rate my Eric, shit. There's 11, you guys don't know how to rate Eric's shit. Eric, I do. There's 11 Star Wars movies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and Lord of the Rings. I don't count them in my list Three of, of them. <laughs> Six if you count Hobbit. Yeah. Like eight Harry Potter yeah. movies. Mm -hmm. You don't know how much I love this. <laughs> but I, don't, I usually don't factor in like big franchise like multi-movie things into my list because they just take up too much room. I feel like then it's not a five movie list. I think that you don't know as well as I do what I consider my movies. I think I would know pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, yeah, Regency and whatever, but in terms of like how a movie made me feel, it hit every single uh, check I it have. It ticked every box. Movies. Like it hit every single one of them. There's yeah. Not, there's not one in there that didn't tick. Original soundtrack? Oh yeah, dude, the, the music the was music so was good. Amazing. Are you a fucking crazy person? But most of it was from other things. Sure, not not all. Well, yes and no. Uh, a lot of it was just in its mix. 
the way that it was literally everything all at once. It was all of these different, you could hear melodies start and then not resolve, but they resolve in a different, in a different melody. And it made sense, like composition wise. It was so good. Hmm. It sound it sound was so good. It's choreography was fantastic. It I did really weird. like the it was dumb. It was loving. It was stupid. <laughs> it made me think of my mother. It made me think of my father. It made me think of my wife. Like, These are all check boxes a movie needs to check off. Fuck yeah, baby. Stupid? For like for like the good stupid ones. is a check box. I love stupid. <laughs> If yeah. you don't love stupid, then you're, no. you're going to go I'm, through life not happy. I'm not saying I didn't like this movie, but yeah. I'm like, for your entire checklist of a perfect movie or what great yeah. movie is, it's you know, a lot of weird it's listings. It's so yeah. intelligent. Yep. It, it is stupid at the same time. Ne- and because yeah. it's so stupid and it's done so well, it wraps back around to intelligent again. I will, oh, not, sure. no, I I will not criticize why you guys like stuff. I will not be criticized why I like no. stuff. Either. I am, I will not. I am <laughs> fully on board with you, Eric. Yeah. Like, like, this has to be in my top five. Stu- stupid is a weapon, and you have to be intelligent to use it well. Exactly. Absolutely. I mean, I love it, flights of fancy. I love ridiculousness. And, I mean, the the butt plug fight, like... It, Dude, that was a thing. They stayed in there, too. Like, she had to like un- the choreography was she made had to, to show you the lines of the butt plug coming in. You know, it's yeah. just... Like, they intentionally had to blur and pixelate that guy's junk. Sure. And the other guy had his underwear on, so you were able to, like, yeah. show whatever you needed to, but I had this thing dangling outside of it. Like the question. Well, she had to them. unplug them. Yeah. Oh. She had to unbutt plug them. Yeah. From what was done with such She unplugged them from their, their, their yeah. jump point. Yeah. And it's not only that she did it, like, she knew she had to. Yeah. <laughs> she, she didn't was, understand she was that she term. had to do that. <laughs> because, oh, man. I do wonder why the unplugging of the butt plug worked. Because it delinked them from their their other universe yeah. I suppose but a lot if of the anything, other actions was, were like singular actions yeah if anything it was just I mean in a in a infinite world where you have infinite actions to take you to this infinite world there's going to be an infinite amount of the same thing that takes you to different things or sure. the same thing right so now so, the weird thing is taking the butt plug out that's why I said like well, I, mean, out. I don't once, think it's necessarily <laughs> just a weird thing like you could do lots of different things but yeah. to get to like specific this specific ones. place you have sure. to do yeah. this thing and it's like holding it a piano on be... an old TV right like you have yeah. to hold it in exactly this position yeah. in order yeah. to keep the reception yeah I mean I think like once you had the butt plugged in taking it out is a different step because usually you, you want it to be in right so like now it's going to shock you when it goes out gosh uh, like you know, they only have like those tails that you like put a butt plug but now, sure. now it's a tail furries like them Sure, yeah. They like Lots of other people do as well. Yeah. But, huh? what? I was Sometimes they are. Intrigued by the like robotic feather duster. It just spins. But why? It's like uh, it's like a milk frother, but with feathers on the end. Sure. And then you can put it places if you really want to. Sure. It's for fetishes. It comes back around everything all at once. Butt plug, feather duster, electronic. Dude, I loved, uh, I don't know what his name was, but the old man, um, his like, chair Dunga. turning into a yeah mm, I don't know a mech thing with like a printer a power it was a, loader it was a power yeah. loader it was like yeah. a power loader it had like a printer like it had the, yeah. the, the thing that you put paper into that was like one of the grabbing pieces and stuff I was like what the fuck is this I loved it so much it was ridiculous yeah. it was great in his world they don't have cows yeah yeah no That's cream drinking half and half yeah the, the cows were killed off in the first part of the war so they have no dairy or anything all the cows. What Rap. about what about goats? Sure. sure. Yeah. Every milk. Every yeah, milk. Per- yeah. Yeah. You can milk a cat. I mean, I technically, you can milk a woman milk too, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah right. It's just, could you imagine if they like they had no cows in order to have cream and stuff? They're using like human milk. I mean, we say that like that's ridiculous, but that's the most natural thing that we could do. That's what they should do. <laughs> sure. If anything, it's weird that we drink cow's milk. It is. I guess. In this another universe, not- relatively, it is weird and awkward. But there's exists a world in which it's just not. It's not. You drink that stuff out of cows? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it should be weird. Too. Yeah, where it's just acid. That would be terrible. <laughs> I, I love that they played on the, you know, old mom doesn't understand the things the kids, you know, like God, oh, the raccoon on the head, you know, doing all that stuff. Sure. And I then love they it. Had another universe where like fucking Chad, and he, it's because he has a raccoon on his head controlling him. Uh, I was like, that was 
I didn't even think about it in the yeah. moment originally. And then later on, it came back around to that. Like, there is a lot of, like, circles in this of, like, things they set up and love say it. and do. And it. It's like it, everybody, when you grow up, you think, like, when you're a kid, you think, well, adults have it figured out. And then when you become an adult, you're like, okay, well, they might have been winging this, but someone has this figured out. And then you get to the age where you're like, oh, man, no one has any of this figured out. We're all kind of just going. And then this movie is like, no one ever in any universe understands what's going on. Yeah. But, and yes, nothing... Like, everything means nothing, but nothing can also mean everything. It, what has value is what you value. Sure. It's not He-Man. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, but fuck yeah, it's He-Man. I do like, like the idea so of, good. like, go watch He-Man. I do like the idea of, like, <laughs> finding value in what you want to find value in, in yeah, a way. Yeah, too. You know, like, she, she's talking about, like, to her daughter and stuff. Like, you know, yeah, sure, I don't want to do this and that and yeah. whatever, you know, and I hate, you know, you're, you're getting fat and all these things. Yeah. But I would not want to be anywhere else, you know? Mm-hmm. And I like seeing the other universes and stuff, too. And even the one where she's, like... I saw the world without you and it's amazing yeah. you know yeah. until she gets to the point where she realizes that even that one wants to be with yeah. Wayman and then just that three generational group at the end there that's tackling the taxes right before it was the you know a mother Evelyn who feels alone even though she's with what can be this amazing man and what can be if in the right in the right context, a father that's supporting you, and what can be a daughter that also was there for you that you didn't push away, or that came back after you pushed her away. It just really, really spoke to me, man. I, I also really song. liked just the scene where she's trying to hold on to her daughter, and then you have like the grandfather's holding on to her, and yeah. then the father's holding on to him. Yeah, Wait, like, yeah. family thing. Like we're, we're family. We're family together. We're gonna do Wayman's it. Wayman's my favorite. But I also like, I like her letting go of her daughter, but then her daughter wanting to be there yeah you know it's, it's it, both of them have to make those decisions yeah. it's yeah. not her if, putting her if will. it were her like you know placing her will on her daughter not letting her have the choice of going and then coming back yeah it wouldn't be right I mean, that's exactly what she's unconsciously doing yeah and before all this happened and it's what her father did to her mm-hmm. like she thinks well, i'm gonna get away from my dad i'm doing this but really that's the dad's will going along with her and, and taking over and and just I love like this movie addressed like everything all at once but it, I it addressed like all the doubts you have about the different things that you do and how you know even just seeing that life she thought oh that's great I should that's you know it was a mistake to get with my husband and it's not until she actually sees him and they make that connection again it's like it wasn't a mistake it was the best thing he ever did it just led to a bad life sure but you can enjoy that life because everything's relative editing in this movie was amazing I can't imagine how long it took to shoot cause like how do you storyboard this like they did whole scenes yeah. that you see for a frame yeah sure a lot of times you know? so you yeah. To, yeah so you gotta shoot oh. all these things and you're yeah. cutting between all these different things and it's like like yeah there's some instances where I'm just like that had to be crazy to try to like I, I love when they're in the van talking to each other the, the wife and husband and then you have the on the glass and then they cut to the other one and then they go back to that one again and then they have the door rip off and you yeah. come back to the other one and the door's been ripped off no, like, and, and those the, things just me- the, welded or like melded frame, so well like our idea of what a frame is changes but we recognize the same frame from the window to the cubicle window yeah it's right? like moving the aspect ratio yeah mm-hmm. it's using the human brain in its dream sleep state to yeah. the fullest because we see the pattern of the, the car door being ripped off and then it whip cut to yeah. the actual like janitor door being ripped off mm-hmm. and we're like oh that's the scene and that is and we just understand it and that's what the movie's doing exactly and the characters sure. are doing and their relationships are doing yeah and then using aspect ratio they did that a lot but they also not only did they do this there's also a couple things that cut the sides off too mm-hmm. and it was just interesting to have like all the different aspects of like filmmaking being utilized in different ways to kind of show like different universes yeah, we go or through whatever anime we go through yeah. sure yeah there's that one shot where everything's like, like everything's like I want to kind of look at all that stuff but it's so hard to see somebody has to to pull that apart frame by frame and look at everyone there's so much talent involved in, in, in making all yeah. this work and then they 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 just show how everything they can do and then they bring it to the most simple thing they can do: two rocks on a cliff. Yeah, right. And then that is like, when that, and that's so, when, that that's point. Point. when that rock is chasing the other rock, man, I was fucking crying. Yeah. And when it jumped off after the rock's daughter, oh, I love the googly eyes. The googly eyes. So eye easy. Like, I wrote a note to say to buy googly eyes. Yeah. I'm gonna buy some. Just start putting them on shit. Mm-hmm. You guys there's can come a, in. These lights have googly eyes when I'm staring at us. There's this. <laughs> it's on YouTube or on TikTok, but it's this girl that she 
she's quirky. She carries around a bag of googly eyes and just like puts them on things. It's just like, yeah. the thing that she does. But she was on a first date and she's like doing that thing like she's going to go for the check and he's going to go for the check and she accidentally drops her purse and just googly eyes fall out of her purse. And the guy, this is a blind date. The guy had no idea about the googly eyes so he just like looks up at her and she looks at him and she realizes like Oh my god! I didn't mention anything about the googly eyes. He yeah. must think I'm a. She just looks like an insane person. They said like he just never called her back. <laughs> no, I know that's it's a very endearing story, but like you can understand from his point of view that it, like what the fuck? I mean, sure, yeah. It seems googly like eyes weird. are amazing. She's just a crafter. Like it'd be if someone spilled their yarn. Yeah, but why do they have that stuff at their first date? It's in their purse. But why? I would expect a magician to have their cards on them on a first date. Like a pack sure. of cards, yeah. right? Yeah, but if it fell out of your purse, a pack of cards fell out of your purse. Yeah. Yeah. Why like, is Google Eyes any more weird? Is it just like, I, like pennies? Like just... Or is it a roll of Google Pennies are weirder. What? Pennies are weird. Pennies are I worthless. I think having a roll of pennies in your purse... Wow. Not, not a roll. Like, the pinky is everything. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when that pinky flex, I was like, this yeah. is the best movie I've ever seen. It makes no sense that the muscle would be there. I know. But... It's great. It doesn't matter because in another universe it does. It, exactly. In another universe they have hot dog hands and they use their feet for everything. Wow. It was in a really emotional spot. And in that when, universe she's in love with the eye. Now the tough part is yeah. in another universe all universes have ended. Yep. Sure. And therefore how does this work? No. I mean <laughs> just in that one. <laughs> just that one. <laughs> I mean you are right in that sense but it's also it's great because in an infinite universe when one person can figure this out everyone can figure it out right yeah. but there's got to be a first person that broke and exists in all of their infinite i guess and this is the second it's hmm. like i'm happy to admit that you related mm-hmm. but it makes sense i mean when in a piece of glass starts number... to crack it cracks next to the bubble you know the next piece of it well i was gonna say in an infinite number of variables then statistically there would have to be one where another person who was capable of becoming that was directly related yeah. to that person. Well, every... So it's not unbelievable. No, every universe that she exists, her mother must exist. Yeah. I mean, she can very well exist in an infinite amount of universes, or not exist in an infinite amount of universes, but the ones that she does, her mother is also probably one of the most important people, or at least on average, one of the most important people in her life. Yeah. So it would make sense that, like, it would happen to the next person. I just l- also love the idea of, like the alpha universe that like combats all these things and they seem to be pretty well organized and all that stuff I love the idea that alpha uh, wayward Wayne uh, Wayman Wayman Wayman. not wayward it's like Raymond like Raymond Waymond. I love his like you are the one because you have you failed so much you were the least special the idea is that she's she's failed everything she's tried or is so bad at everything that if she would have been good at any of those she'd have been so streamlined into one thing but because Mm -hmm. she failed she had the potential to have she has the hard drive space yeah the alternate path she has the multiverse of Dane and DeVita yeah that allowed all the other ones to work what do you mean it works how does this work she is she's all the castaway genes from twins from all the different you, it makes sense. So you're, you're saying twins, Danny DeVito. Yeah, so like anyone who has ever been successful so, in her other timelines he, can he only exist have, because this one exists. He could have potentially have had any of the strengths of Arnold. Yeah. But he had none of them. So which Arnold means, could have all of them. Which means he could have any of those in yeah. a world like this. I mean, I, I like this. Yeah, no. I, I get it. It makes sense to me. Uh, <laughs> and, and Aaron, the way in, I in a it. universe out there, it makes sense to you. No, that's not how it works. Way, <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, the way I thought of it is, like, she is at such a low point. Like, she she can grow more than any other person. No, I because she has the most potential for growth. I like, if you're know, starting at I, zero, the distance between I zero like and one, one. Yeah. is infinite. Can I throw out one? Analogy? Sure. All of the Evelyns have a hard drive space. And in the other ones, they filled up their hard drive space with skills and relationships and happiness and all that stuff. And hers is just, there's like nothing there. It's just the boot drive. Yeah, <laughs> just the boot drive. So she has as more space to be able to gather files from here and here and here and here and put so them there. So all others are a defined number. Yeah. And she is zero. I mean, she has that. like, you know, her family. She has, you know, love and stuff like that. Sure. She, she has, has a framework. But she, she, yeah, she ha- didn't, hasn't found happiness in all of these things where these people have. 
And I think that is the point where she has potential to move to, to fill up her drive more than others. See, it's not that she found happiness though in any other things too. It's I think it's more of like uh, it's more like she this one that the main one was on like mm-hmm. a highway. Sure. And there were so many exits that she could have taken, but she never chose one. Yeah. And she just stayed on this. Whereas all the other ones, like the one who was a movie star, chose this exit. And this one chose this exit. Sure. Which then limited them to being this. Yeah. But mm-hmm. because she's still on that same highway and never really chose one of those, she has so many more exits that she could have taken that she never yeah. did, that it lets her connect to all these different universes so easily. And the movie she's in is Crazy Risk Agents, which is the yeah. universe. I love that they used <laughs> used footage. promotional footage of her yeah, and, like amazing. red carpet. This is like stuff. that was the only thing I knew is that Michelle was in this. Yeah, yeah, that was the only thing I knew about it. Which also I, I want to look at an IMDb because there's two of the people that I wanted to see who they were. Because Eric, you said short if that's round. Not short round. I'm, Eric, you, you said short round. I but deny, I'll never watch the movie again. We, I knew <laughs> Michelle. I knew short round, and I knew the premise. Oh, it is 100 percent him. You knew all this stuff. Yeah. I knew nothing other than it was Michelle Yeoh. So I was um, like, we'll probably get some cool fights. So it is, so it is short round? I remember hearing that, yeah. Okay. That, like, he it, came out of acting. What uh, what I was going to say is that when Eric had said short round, but before that, they had done, like, the how they got here past view of Michelle's character, right? Mm-hmm. They cut through what her history was. And when they did that, the, the young version of Wayman looked to me like a younger... A younger Wayman, but like an older short round. Yeah. I'm like, man, that guy looks so much like short round. But I also kind of had the thought in my head of like, I guess like Eric, I'm like, am I just thinking he looks like short no, round? Is I, that, I, am, am I, I, I saw him and like, there was some kind of like connection where I'm like, I know this guy. Which, which to me either means like, I see him all the time, but don't know his name. Or he's from something when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. I, you ever like, see like a character actor like, wait, I know that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's like your brain remembers every face you've ever seen. So it became, I know this kid. And it's kind of brilliant casting, at least in my head it is, because if at least if you like know that short round, you kind of like have arrested in your head like that he's a kid. So he can be both a man and a kid, like innocent, sure. you know, in this movie. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but if it was, I, don't like, know. I just kind of hmm. see that guy as such an innocent, kind soul, because in my head I've arrested him. The rest of development as a child. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I think I heard on the radio that he quit acting because he wasn't happy with the perks being offered to him as an Asian yeah. actor. And like just recently he came back into acting after yeah. like Crazy Rich Asians and things. Okay. Like that. So that, that guy awesome. used to be Data in the Goonies. That's who he was. Which guy? The Wayman. Oh, yeah. He was sure. Data in what? In the Goonies. <laughs> you know, I've never seen the Goonies. Really? Really? Maybe it would be my top five. It's surprising. Yeah. It's good. I need to look at Chad, though. I know a lot of things I, about I, it. Chad. I don't know 100% if it's him, but there was a certain angle when, because I was like, man, he looks so familiar. There's a certain angle where he reminded me of this one kid in Glee who, if it is him, it kind of works a little bit because he was just like a really good dancer and he was in a fight, but it might have been a fan film or something. I forget. That was just really good. Like, he's a very athletic kid, but I don't know what his name is. So I just want to see if it's him or not. Also, I was surprised Jamie Lee Curtis was in this. Yeah, she was great. Harry Shum Jr., that sounds right. I think it's him. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. He was, I, in, he was in Crazy Rich Asians as well. And yeah, and he was Mike in Glee. Sweet. So, I uh, I think another one of my checks for like just things that I absolutely love is I love like what appear to be throwaway gags taken to like they took a so the far. hundredth degree. Well, sure. Yeah, like like you thought that that Ratatouille joke was just like, oh, okay, that's a cute little yeah. joke. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, you know, parents but like, remember words wrong. Yeah, and but stuff like, like that. we never would have thought that that will end with her throwing the man that she betrayed to the raccoon. You know, like it just went so far, and it made, but it made still contextual sense in everything. But I think in this movie you can cheat that because literally everything in context would make sense. Yeah. <laughs> sure. They did the same thing too with like the hot dog fingers. Is like when she was going to the Hollywood person, they started showing like a hot dog sign yeah. or picture or something. Mm-hmm. And then we sun- suddenly ended up with yeah. this. And, and like it makes sense when fighting is this because they don't know how to use their yeah. hands because they use their feet. Yeah. Yeah. But like, like you said, the edit, the direction, everything. Like when you have those moments of just like, 
that lady's coming down the stairway and you're like, what's going to happen? Or the flying knee. <laughs> or, the, you know, he's coming from the butt plug. Like, there's, yeah. there's these moments of breath where you inhale and you go, what the fuck am I watching? I love that. That also ticks. One Takes of my a boxes. box. Yeah. Yeah. I was so confused when she became the pro wrestler. Yeah. I was trying to think, like, is this from a universe where pro wrestling is real? Because the objects did not hurt the person. You know? So, like, why use pro wrestling? Those skills can be used to hurt as much as they can to entertain, right? Well, and also it's maybe there's a pro wrestling skill, universe right? where it's real. Yeah. Well, that's that's what I said. Well, like, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. yeah. But it could also be the I was trying to catch up real in that universe. <laughs> the, um, oh, the other guy wanted to get the gymnastic skills, but they don't use gymnastics to kill people. Yeah. You know, so I think it's just a matter Gym of, like, cut. getting the skills from that person and then using that to kill or fight or whatever. Yeah. So, I think it's like that. I did love when Jamie Lee was like, like she changed and then it was like, and like, like her gut sucked in and yeah. she stood up straighter yeah, and became yeah. like, she became something like a else. foot and a half taller. Oh, just so, half. It was just crazy the way they yeah. did that and it made her like a monster. Like, oh my God, Jamie Lee Curtis is a monster. Well, it's <laughs> like, you know, I'm, I'm not sure which I would have liked more. Like their fight scene slow-mo because it is Jamie Lee Curtis and she's not going to be in a fight scene Super crazy, yeah. or I'd rather have them use a stunt double and it'd be an awesome fight scene I'm not sure which one I would prefer sure no, I, I like this one <laughs> I don't care they could have done both and then just intercut it we wouldn't know sure <laughs> I, I just wanted to gush on uh, uh, Japu Tupaki the villain Jabu mm-hmm. yeah I Jabu just Tupaki. Uh, I don't know man there's something about like when they said this omniversal force right but it's originally made from one person we don't know it's so weird how to try to like figure out where the inception of that is and where it ends here right because there's really no sense of time when it comes to the multiverse so where did it start but well it started in the alpha yeah timeline yes back when yeah when she was still alive they had the I, I, I definitely I understand that but that also it like in terms of when it happened, it happened all at once, yeah. right? So, it, like, as soon as it was a possibility, yeah. it had already happened. Yeah, and resolved. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. I mean, we don't know exactly what that means for Jabu as a whole, right? Because she splintered and then like leveled pretty much, so that she exists in every single one of those. But that also means that she exists in this one, and at least this one got peace or a form of it. I just wonder if there's, like, others. Well, so, like, two things happened, right? We saw the device, and we saw that the connections were separate. Yeah. So it seemed like now they were just themselves. Sure. But then at the very end, she started having, like, yeah. the flashes or whatever. Like, she would, like sure. they would still probably have that experience. But she also, towards the end, was connecting with things and wasn't using the devices mm-hmm. on her ears either. Yeah. Though. Yeah. So she definitely has maybe more connection than anyone else does. Mm-hmm. I don't know about the daughter, because she also had that heightened sense, and she yeah. was never using them. Right. Like, she was just changing channels, you know? Well, she used them in the chair when they were, like, pushing yeah. kind of thing. She had like the same the, kind of headset that, that it was before when the they, people in the van did. It was the same thing with Michelle's character, is that she had those things until she didn't. Until like, she didn't when she died them. and stuff, and then she was just yeah. connecting with everything already. Mm-hmm. So. I just, I just really like the idea that in this world where nothing really has value, you have to define your relationships and prove their worth, right? Like, because he didn't, you know, the, uh, what's his name? The Gong Gong. He didn't do that with his daughter. She was, like, their relationship was ill-defined, and it happens with her daughter. And they don't get to actually sit there and be like, this is what's important to me and why. And that causes the granddaughter to believe in nothing, Right? Like, yeah. without that uh, that pin and that anchor, well, then she just finds no morality in anything. And I love that they kept it in there. Like, look, you found this, but eventually you won't care anymore, too. Like, and that still might be true. Sure. But that doesn't rob the experience of defining uh, what has, you know, has value to you. And it's, it's crazy and messed up, and it feels really realistic to me that... Like, others have to do that as well for you to feel. Like, you can't just do it yourself, you know? Did she go with that experience with everyone, you think, or just the mom? Like, what about her girlfriend or her dad? 
Well, I yeah, think I think because I think be, maybe because cause, you know a parent you know you guys know this more than I do, but like that parent child relationship is so important to who you are, right? Like it's you know when something hits me emotionally, I try to like track why, and almost always it goes back to something from when I was a kid. And when I was a kid, my authority figures are above me, looking down. I s- see them even now, <clears throat> having all the answers, you know. But I can also see them from my point of view now. They don't have any answers. They were just winging it just like everybody else does. So I think because maybe they didn't have that, she couldn't look at her girlfriend and see that as enough or something of value because, well, everyone will leave me anyway. So they she loses all that sense of... It's, it's interesting, too, because it's playing with, like, two levels. One, there's the level of the omniverse and all this stuff, but at the end of the day, or at the end of the movie, it's just a scene in the street of a mother and a daughter. Like, yeah, they have this other level that they're emoting on, but you could strip that away, edit that away, and it would still be a very like, powerful Wayman scene. didn't know yeah. everything that was happening, mm-hmm. and, you know, all the things that they were referring to were yeah. previous conversations. Cut them very quickly. Yeah, especially watching... All the shit that's yeah. going on. Well, know? yeah, he adapted very well. He's a great man, but like for him, from his perspective, it was just you know a conversation between yeah. a mother and a daughter. Yeah, yeah. Like I wish, may, maybe I don't know. Like I really like the ending. I kind of wish it was more than Love Con- Conquers All, because that's just something I've seen so many times before. I get you, but I think it's important to note that like. They're choosing to value Love Conquers All. Like I yeah. still think that the the Jabu uh, or Japu point of view Jabu. is still valid Jabu. and there for them. Yeah. And that idea of like, hey, yeah, this is nice, but it's not going to last. I think makes it even a bigger it, point to it's it. It's honestly looking at the idea of why are we here, right? Like, what's the point of us being here? And like, uh, Jobu is kind of looking at it as like. Everything has no meaning, and there yeah. isn't. There's nothing. Everything's too much. There's no reason this. why there's we're no here reason. because I have no attachment yeah. to this. When you, when you love something, eventually it just goes away anyway. It dies or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And I think the alternative is like find meaning in what you have and what's going on versus yeah. looking. For you the define meaning. what. Sure. Yeah. Don't look for the meaning. No, no, no. Like I definitely get no. the meaning of the movie. It's just like the movie has showed me so much I've never seen before, mm-hmm. and then it's just. Like, the undercurrent is this thing that I've seen everywhere. See, I find... Always. Why is that bad? I though? find comfort. I don't know that it's bad. I, just, I find comfort. But, you know, yeah. like, like with it being, like, an issue, what's the alternative then? You know what I mean? Like, the idea is, like... Like, that's their well, whole... And, and, the whole idea is how crazy all this stuff is. Sure. But it's that all this stuff, all the craziness, all the multiverse ideas, none of that really matters. And you find what matters. And in this situation, for them, it's that the, these two people who were... Yeah super powerful and could do whatever they wanted to they needed to connect the way they did they chose to stay together but in other situations with other people it may have been differently you know like yeah that. I like the way you put it too it's like it's not even that they find what matters it's they choose to find what matters for them sure right like it, it's a different that's a different answer for, <laughs> for um infinite amount of people honestly Rick I mean you're right it's because what I in the beginning I was like okay it's gonna be kind of like a drama comedy kind of thing and I figured it was gonna revolve around like this mom who's kind of not getting along with the daughter and then we're going to kind of maybe make this thing work and then it went to just crazy extremes of telling that same kind of story in yeah. a way you know like Definitely. um turning red i don't know if you guys have seen that it's got some similar uh like beats. story beats and stuff that it's hitting on of like mother and a daughter not coming to terms and seeing eye to eye and whatnot you know yeah but it, it's like the same kind of idea it's just it's not just quite dress. as crazy yeah. in this multiverse universe thing. Sure. But, uh, like, maybe the movie wouldn't have worked at all if it didn't have an anchor. Like, sure. something for you to attach to. Yeah. Like, if you can't find something to relate to, like, then it's just really hard to relate. It's like, uh, I watched another movie that does some really weird things, and it got to the point where I'm like, I don't know what the hell I'm watching. And when it got to the very end, I was like, I don't know, I don't know what I watched or why we watched this. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So, it's like... Having that there, like, well, I can relate to this, and I can understand then more so, like, all the craziness that exists in the world, or in the universe, or in the multiverse. Not all of it has to matter, necessarily. Yeah, it all filters through this lens that you're familiar with. Yeah, here's what I know, and what do I care about, and I care about these things, and that's what matters, ultimately. 
So like even you don't know what you're experiencing, you don't know why, you don't know how it's working, but you do know if you're doing it by yourself or not. Sure. Like her experiencing all these different universes, she's realizing being alone mm -hmm. is not the best option. I mean, you could say like all she realizes is that Wayman is important or that Joy is important, but it's kind of like not being alo alone and loving the people that are with you because yeah. even Hot Dog Fingers, they were kind of coming yeah. back together and loving each other, you know? So it's more of like find what is important in your it is in your circle, I guess. I loved, uh, but it's also not saying that you don't reach for stuff either. Out there, yeah. you know, it's no. not being like, well, just be happy with a broken, not working laundromat or whatever, and yeah. don't shoot for the stars. But it's also like find joy in what you have. Yeah, instead of dedicating your 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 energy to regretting what you don't have, mm. focus your energy on what you do and enrich yourself. Like mm. all of the regret and everything that she put into the bagel. I mean, she could have done anything with that, you know? Sure. I, mean, I also just, I love that, you know, Joy, the antagonist, the multiverse, you know, being, just had the line where it's like, I guess I just wanted to see if you can look at this and see something else, because I see nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I love that. I need, because, a, I need a second yeah. opinion. <laughs> because even this, like, all-knowing slash know-nothing character, like, is like, am I wrong about this? And unconsciously or, or consciously reaches out to the person that they look up to which is well, a sure. mother figure you know i mean it's it's the it's the thing about like all teenagers think that once they've turned 16 or 18 they think they have the world figure out yeah. they know everything but they're so far from the truth yeah well yeah far, like so far from understanding she wanted an impossible ideal right because like no matter how connected you are with someone you can never feel what they feel yeah like you can never experience what they experience mm -hmm. yeah but they were able to because of the bagel. The everything bagel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just, I love this movie. It felt like small budget and big budget at the same time. Sure. It's just so well done. Yeah. Like, even if you hate the idea of it, like, you can't deny this was a well done movie. Yeah. Sure. I mean, there's definitely a lot of planning going into yeah. all of it. There's a lot of room to go wrong. Oh, sure, yeah. As well. Like, yeah, the, yeah, the further you go <laughs> out from the norm, yeah. like, the more likely you are to drop the ball, right? Yeah. At least one of them. But sure. I feel like it did a good job of juggling. Like, I think that, like, there's a real heart to the movie, and that's what makes this different than, like, and don't get me wrong, I love Rick and Morty. And that, but Rick and Morty that is one of those ticks sometimes for me is, like, they take something... They define something really simple, and they take it to the absurd degree, right? Sure. This did that while bringing it around to a real human story that is being played by, you know, people that aren't my ethnicity, they're not my gender, <laughs> but, like, I relate so hard. Yeah. So, really good. Liked it. Loved it. I loved it. Very good. All right, guys, so uh, we were going to do something a little different in this that we haven't done with movies before, is we actually opened up Q&As over on Twitter. Um, and we were going to take a few questions and thoughts from you guys on this movie. So, man. Um, you got it? Yeah. I, I was going to say, the movie's so good, I forgot. We were doing Q&A. Yeah. <laughs> I opened up a while ago, and I was like, let me find the point when we transition. <laughs> um, Jason says, what did you think of the visual effects, considering the visual effects team was so small? Hats off to them, in his opinion. Yeah, it felt like a small production doing very ambitious work. Yeah. And for me... As much as the visual effects are, there's nothing in there that's, like, mind-blowing. It's just the sheer amount of things they had. Like like you said, like, how did someone edit this? Yeah. Because there's so much to do and to put in there. Like, to make that, I don't know, comprehensible in an edit. I yeah. think the, the movie is so disconnected from reality. Yeah. The effects don't have to be great. Yeah. If that makes sense. Even though I think they were. But, yeah, there's I can't point to a moment where like well the effects messed that up and in fact i bet you there's going to be thousands of hidden things that we didn't, we didn't even see oh i'm sure that the effects did so that montage of every yeah. frame is a different universe yep. different reality hmm. i uh the first credit in here was daniel right daniel and daniel yeah. yeah but like in the movie it was like wasn't there a thing that was like just it just said daniel yeah, it was written and directed R by Daniel. Daniel. Oh, yeah. Where here in the, yeah. in the real credits, it's I just two think guys it, with the same first. I name. think it's funny that the guys that are probably most responsible for this placed themselves in the movie and became one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really cool. But yeah, visual effects were fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Sh Shamar, 
I don't know if I said that right. Uh, directors made this thread explaining their intent of making this movie. It's kind of long, but the first paragraph is a good read as to as of the why of the movie, which okay. is this is from Daniel Kwan. Okay. Which is one of the directors. So I'll just read this first paragraph section here. Um, it just says, Dear movie lovers, there is just too much, too much to think about, too much to hold on to, too much to fight against, too much, uh, too many people to talk to, too many restaurants to eat at, and definitely, definitely too many movies to watch. <laughs> at the end of 2016, when we started to write Everything Everywhere all at once, we were already feeling the too muchness of it all, and we asked ourselves, why add to the noise? In a world where everything and everyone is clawing for our attention, where billion-dollar corporations see every single minute of our lives as a potential real estate, to be bought up and sold off for profit. Asking anyone for two hours of their time is to watch one of our films, uh, two hours of time to watch one of our films is like asking for, well, too much. We realized if we were going to make a film and ask an audience to give us that precious time, the only responsible thing to do in return was to blow their minds and change their lives forever. Or at the very least, we were going to attempt that. Yes, from Daniel Kwan. Oh. And there's a lot more of that too, and there's a huge thread. Yeah, yeah. I want to check that out. On Twitter, oh, I can so. definitely respect that viewpoint. Mm -hmm. Are you signing as Blind Wave or Aaron? I'm signing as Aaron right now. Damn. Why? If you're Blind Wave, you can heart it, and I can look at it later. I can still heart it. <laughs> okay, heart it. See, I'm gonna uh -huh. see what you liked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I want to check that. I yeah, I I agree. I I do feel like as a reactor, like we've made a living uh, watching a lot of stuff and. When you guys tell us what you like and you want us to experience, the overwhelming just... That's, like, so much to do, and we can only do this so much in a day. I feel that way. Sure. So whenever, you know, I didn't think... I thought The Northman was a fantastically made movie, but it didn't really speak to me too much because it was like Macbeth, and it was like, well, this is something I've seen done a thousand times, some better, some worse, but it didn't really speak to me, whereas this movie spoke to me, and... I'm just glad that it came into our schedule. <laughs> sure. And there's a universe where, like, if we did this on Friday when we were supposed to, you two w wouldn't have been here. And then there's a universe where you might not have been here today, but we live in this universe. It's true. Um, Renee has a different question of saying, if you could choose what food would replace your hands, what would you choose? Food? Yeah. So instead of hot dogs, or if you want hot dogs. Like, the hot dogs, you don't eat them. I mean, can no. I go, like, calamari, but they're functional? Because that seems great. Um, seems very useful. If your Calamari. fingernails yeah. were food. You could just eat your fingernails. Yeah, but would it, be, would it be a problem with people that don't have fingernails now? Because they're eating them? You mean eating them off your yeah. finger? Like, Why are you doing that? Sometimes, sometimes, I that's go too, sometimes I go too well. I, I think that's an issue with some people. Anyway. Like if your fingers were made of now, like Cheetos, yeah. and they got too long, you could just have a Cheeto. Yeah. But people would probably be... Or that cheetah, you sure. know? Yeah. Self-control. Like, yeah. 127 hours later. So I, I don't think I should, I'm <clears throat> responsible enough to have this choice. I like the idea of calamari like having like almost like a tentacle yeah. kind of thing. As long as it's yeah. alive. Or like... Well, I don't know. See, like those hot dogs just... Yeah, the hot yeah, dogs were just flopping. Of, the hot dogs they also were literally like, just hot dogs. Yeah. You know, they, like, like, they had some control. That's how they would... Uh, yeah. Um, Mohammed had a couple things here. Mohammed 73 says... Uh, five people who did not go to school for visual effects did all the CGI for the film in their bedrooms during the pandemic. Wow. Yep. Um, and then also Shows. said, in the universe where Evelyn and Jobu are rocks, there was originally supposed to be an audible dialogue. It was Michelle's idea who suggested the scene be totally silent. Wow. Which was interesting. Hmm. You know, the visual effects thing, is, is it's just it's funny because everybody that I know that does visual effects as a profession didn't go to school. They just learned what was available. The thing about going to school for visual effects is like another three years, everything you learned is outdated. Yeah. Sure. You know, yeah. there's the a only new reason, thing out there. The only reason to yeah. get a, a visual effects yeah. degree is so that you can get a job to learn everything that yeah. you just learned better. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, the reason for most things mm -hmm. is to go learn how to learn. Yeah. But, like, you know, I know Emmy Award winning visual effects guys, and they just... Would like when they were a kid, they just got a camera and started doing stuff. You yeah, know, they just started and would you know learn a new skill, and then that skill can turn into five other skills. You know, it's just if that's something you're really interested in, uh, just go to Andrew Kramer's video copilot and get started. Oh, yeah, it's easier now than ever yeah. with the internet. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. So many tutorials can walk you through stuff. 
Yeah. True. Like, I was trying to do advanced lightning in After Effects on my old computer at home, you know, in the year, what year was it? 20... 2008? 2008. 2008. And, oh, no. like, I like would, I would like... Yeah, I would like, you know, go to the next frame and it'd be like, you know, <laughs> it was trying to calculate everything. But now I can like do effects, turn them all on, hit play, and it was playing. Yeah. You know, back in the day, I had to like try to make visual effects without seeing what they look like. No, and AI because my computer couldn't show it. Can do things yeah. for you. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Laura Elizabeth says, which was your favorite fight sequence? I, 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 I love mean, the, the fanny first, pack. The fanny yeah, pack's my number one. The fanny pack one was really fucking good. I really like it too. And it really kind of set the stage of like what it, was going to be able to happen and stuff. Though I also really enjoyed the butt plug fight. Yeah, I felt like the fights got a lot cuttier as we went along. Mm-hmm. Uh, the earlier ones had less so. But they got crazier as they went along too. So yeah, like you sure. got to at a certain point. And it definitely felt like, and I don't know if this is real or, or right, but it felt like Western cameramen and like a set trying to match Eastern philosophy of film sure a little bit but if not that's just me I don't know uh, the butt plug one was my favorite choreography wise I loved the uh, trying to stop the butt plug from entering like, yeah, just, yeah I like that it's from such an, it's such an easy to follow thing that you instantly understand and like I, I like as a viewer I should be like what the fuck are we doing but instead it forced me to accept these are the stakes yeah that did not get, don't get that in there. And then yeah. when the guy came out holding his knees in the air, ah, like doing a power. Bomb. There's that moment where I'm like, I understand like, oh, exactly God. what's happening. It makes sense in my head, but I'm also going, what the fuck am I watching? Sure, yeah. So I love that it played on so many levels all at once. Um, I'm gonna read uh, Milwaukee Dan and Dan the Mandalorian because it kind of also fits with what we were just talking about. Okay. Uh, Dan the Mandalorian says, "What was your guys' favorite scene in terms of cinematography? Mm. The way this movie was shot is insane." And Milwaukee Dan says, "I've been waiting like mad for you guys to watch this movie. Uh. There are so many things I love about it, but my favorite has to be the cinematography. Cinematography. As creators for LCC, I'm curious to hear your commentary uh, about some of the crazy mind bending shots in this film. Which, while you guys don't want that, and I was reading that." My first thought went to the fanny pack shot, where it was like a GoPro, like on the end, on the as end, it was like as swinging, around. swinging around. I, yeah. I really like that shot. That was incredible. I mean, I love the shattering effect, and like how they utilize that. And Especially the subtitles. The subtitle shattering yeah. too. Yeah. It's so good. Or like when she had like the circle, and it like had her place it both, and it shattered, showing mm-hmm. both being placed and stuff. Oh yeah, the, the, the receipt slip thing where it went. <laughs> Uh, I really enjoyed the uh, the universe in which the movie star version of Evelyn and uh, is trying to reconnect with someone that they hadn't been with, and like everything else, as the, as the, we kept going back to that universe, everything else was getting like inkier and blurrier because it didn't matter as much. So just those two characters, that was a really cool idea. I mean, it's yeah. a visual effect. I love the really slow frame rate whenever they yeah. went back to it. There was a couple times. Um, I gotta rewatch the movie to really appreciate the choreography and the the cinematography. But there were a couple times where uh, they were playing with the speed of the camera. Yeah. And between Western and Eastern, there's very different doctrines sure. of that, and I yeah. felt like it conflicted in like two or three shots. Just as you know, but the movie's demanding me to put everything together so much it didn't really bother me too much. Sure. I mean, a lot of that in my first watch through, I didn't notice any of those kind of yeah. situations. Those are usually the things I notice on like repeat yeah. watch throughs and stuff. When I start like, it's like oh here now yeah. I see this mistake. But like when the, I first watch it, I don't notice this mistake. Yeah, the know? frames per second don't match the the motion blur. There's sure. like there's like I don't know three shots I, could, I thought of when that happened, but it's usually something that happens in Western movies, or if it's in Eastern movies because they're it's went too fast and they have to slow it down. <laughs> That's happened before, so. Um, I just love Bruce Lee. Yeah. <clears throat> Grace Phillips says, uh, more of a fun random fact for you guys. Uh, the lead role was meant for Jackie Chan, but scheduling didn't work. Which I thought was interesting. There was definitely a moment I, I watched, I, I was watching, I was like, Jackie Chan would be a good in this movie. Oh, yeah. The fanny oh, pack yeah. moment, I was like, man, this feels kind of Jackie yeah. Chan ish, you know? Yeah. But I, I thought. Uh, I thought with, with both the action scenes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I can't think of the guy's name, but I thought he did a really good job. Oh, like, yeah. It looked like it was him doing those moves, and I thought it, it was great. great. It was really good. Um, I just I, I want to gush about Michelle Yeoh's Michelle Yeoh's performance in this because obviously 
when she's in this movie, I'm thinking before we even started watching, I'm like, well, we're gonna probably get some really cool fight scenes because she's involved in like some of the best fight scenes of all time. Um, but I was really impressed by when she's not being a competent fighter. Like sure. she just like the fights in which she's just you know a, a woman that works at a, a laundromat. Like uh, I think like real masters know how not to do something. So she was like, if you just went out and found a random woman on the street, like pretend you're in a fight, they're gonna do something. But she like do like a, do yeah. like a fake karate move. Yeah. Like, but like oh, she does oh. karate moves so well, she yeah. knows exactly what not to do. So, exactly. And then she just, I think it's like the most emotional performance I've ever seen her in, too. But I haven't seen all of her stuff. Um, Maddie says, I found the daughter very relatable. Who or what did you find relatable, and what spoke to you the most? Hot dog hands don't count. <laughs> now, what a hard question. I do think recently, um, and more so that we've been watching, like some more of the family aspect stuff has been hitting me more and differently. Yeah. So, like, some of the stuff with, like, the husband-wife and then the daughter-mother yeah. things were connecting with me in, like, a family level of a lot of the stuff. Like, having that divorce kind of aspect where I'm like, well, I wonder how this will go and what she'll see or what she'll think and whatnot. Yeah. And then, like, connecting with the kids and stuff, too. Like, I feel like both of those were more relatable for me. Which is weird. It was very, like, it felt like a very family, typical family kind of thing, mm -hmm. but just mixed toss a bunch of this crazy shit on it yeah. exactly <laughs> you know right. like that could have just been the movie by itself I feel like they could have just been dealing with that kind of stuff and I've seen movies like that before but not with all the other stuff I want to say Wayman probably because he's my favorite character but I think that's I can't say that because I don't think I can relate with him like I'm he's too happy he's like too that, good for this world yeah that's like me trying like that's like, <laughs> I feel like that's me trying to say like I'm also a really nice guy he's yeah. like no no one is that like like Wayman, you know? He's so singular, which is why he's so important. And I would have fucked up all of these relationships way more than he has. Um, so then I would say probably Evelyn. I really like the moment when she realizes, and it doesn't work, but when she s stands there and said, this is my daughter's girlfriend. Um, I mean, I've definitely had moments in my life from being young to being older where I realize, oh man, that thing that I was doing, that other people were doing, that's really shitty. I don't know why I did that. Thank God I don't do it anymore. But, you know, like if you say the R word, right, when you were a kid, mm -hmm. you didn't care because I didn't really know anybody that was in that condition and uh, everyone else said it. But, like, then I would get to the point in my life like, hey, I shouldn't have been saying that. And I can say, all right, yeah, I'm, thank God I don't do that anymore. But I don't take ownership of when I did, you know? Like, I don't think about, like, I think of that as being a different person. And I think that's a detriment. And then I need to be like, no, no, I did do that. So you like, because I'm responsible for doing that, I need to try to do something else, not just be like, oh, thoughts and prayers. No, I need to actually do something about it. And I kind of felt that when Evelyn realized what she was doing by not being honest with her father about her yeah. daughter's girlfriend. I don't know if I was able to especially connect with anyone, but I could feel her sense of being overwhelmed mm -hmm. because there's just so many things like vying for your attention yeah. mm -hmm. in the beginning. Yeah, definitely. I could relate to that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Robert Sharp says, just saw this movie over the weekend, so this is perfect timing. If we were living in a hot dog finger universe, who would be the best Smash player with their feet? Hmm. I'm going to say me. I'm going to say Ooh. not Calvin. See, I get the toe cramps. And not Eric. My toes are pretty dexterous. Huh. Are they? I don't know how we could prove this. My toes are pretty dexterous, too. Let's get the piano. Like, I used to run around as a kid and squish bubble bees between my toes and yeah. not get stung. I never did that. Yeah, but... I don't know if that translates to Smash. While I think you could maybe control the controller pretty well, I think when it comes to Smash, it only matters. I, think I, mean, I, understand I would have the... I think all of you would have the most handicap and I would have the least. Sure. But it's also Smash. Yeah, but <laughs> you're playing with your feet. Well, we'll have to try it. Yep. I'll Friday, twist.tv slash blind wave. No. I'll play Calvin with my feet, and he can play with his hands. We'll see who wins. Can we do that on Twitch? Why not? Just can't picture it. Just don't have a close-up of my feet. Yeah. But what, how do what, people what happens if he wins? And what happens if you win? Then we just recruit, recruit. Right. $19 or... $19. What? $19. $19. <laughs> Um, Ninth Level says, what do you think of the film's response to absurdism and nih 
Hillism? Ni- nihilism. 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 You've only yeah. ever heard it. What makes sense of nihilist? Yeah. So. Nihil- dark nihilist. Yeah. Do you think that <laughs> message is made clear, and do you agree with it? Well, the uh, message is super clear. Yeah, super clear, and I definitely mm-hmm. agree with it. It's my own personal beliefs, but yeah, I think that we define what's important to us. I don't think there's a, like a plan. I don't think there's a... Uh, a way things are supposed to go. I think it's what you define yourself as what's important to you. I don't think there's much subtlety to this movie's message, mm-hmm. but I like it. Yeah. It's, it's, Sakuganta says, Fun fact, the fight choreographers are the two guys in the butt plug fight scenes. They're brothers and YouTubers with no formal training, and the directors found them through their videos. If you That's told, amazing. If you told me that the fight choreographers there's two of them and they're in the movie I would have said those two people yeah <laughs> they had the best fight too <laughs> what else did you say uh, well I mean Michelle Yeoh is great but I don't think that she's necessarily doing the choreography yeah exactly um, it's gotta be someone who's like not in it too much yeah, yeah. In it enough but made sure. themselves super memorable yeah. yeah I love that they're brothers <laughs> yeah that's great <laughs> oh Y Block has an interesting question saying which of the things that was done to transport to a multiverse would you be least willing to do I'd probably say the paper cuts between my fingers. Oh, I see. I, 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 would you rather have a butt plug or paper cuts in between the fingers? The butt plug, like, they were wearing underwear. Is it yeah. I mean, it, it would. Once, Maybe. I'm, I, think I'm, I think I'm still going to go. My underwear is pretty stretchy. I think I'm still going to go with the paper cut. <laughs> Like, not like bad. I hate paper cuts. Do you see how deep they were up? between your fingers? Like everything yeah. that you do, like the instant he changed back to to this universe's Waymond, he was like, ah, ah, what happened to my hand? I like think, it's so yeah. debilitating to move your fingers. I think the <laughs> butt plug is supposed to go in a butt. You know, sure. like well, it's not that bad. But there's like preparation involved. There's stages. Right? Sure. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, like they ruptured something. Yeah, sure. oh no, yeah, but well, what I'm saying is, like, not maybe. every situation is, like, do it right now, you know? Like, the taking a nap one isn't bad at all, it's just that sure. you can't right now. Yeah. Well, so, uh, am I in a situation where I have to do it quickly? Or if I'm just, if I need to take time... I'd say the guy who shocked himself. Who stuck his yeah. finger in a... In yeah. a bulb? Mm-hmm. Is that's that what like he was fatal. doing? I thought, yeah. like I thought no. he was fucking I'm pretty sure. Like he was holding a light he bulb was... and he shoved his finger Didn't in a light the sound effect? Why was he okay. doing this? He because was he was being shocked! I... It went... He was convulsing from the shock! There was a man thrusting his hips into a lamp. That's what no, I it was not. It was a wall of scars. Yeah, yeah, it was a wall that appeared. Okay, we're talking about Different people. That's no. There's also a lamp being held at someone's dick, and he's thrusting into it. Is it on? I don't remember. Did you turn it on? That's the one detail I didn't get. (laughs) (laughs) How does it know it's on? Like, I can't be wrong about this, right? Like, it was so clear in my mind. So, all right, so which part are you guys talking about? So he's, he's in the background against the wall with his hand up in a socket. Yeah, I think we are talking about different people. My guy's on the left. Our that, guy is that, on the just left. Watch. When the camera stops, it's, he's kind of centered. I think it's this guy right here. Yeah, there's so, another guy there. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 You, you, you guys are with the suit. You're looking at this guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now watch the okay. man to his right. Look okay. at this guy right here. Yep. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it turned green. <laughs> right? So, yeah. so yes, there's a guy with his finger in a socket and like the light bulb's lighting. <laughs> yeah. There's another guy fucking a lamp. He is. <laughs> Yeah. That's the perfect analogy to this I would movie. Still, we all got something we value out of it, but it's different. I would still rather fuck a lamp than get paper cuts between my fingers. <laughs> yeah, but what about getting shocked? I would rather get shocked. That could kill you. I, 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 I think I'd rather get shocked. It's only 120. It hurts, but it doesn't kill you. Just thinking about it. Like, like it's, it's it hurts. Thing about you can't do it, it like, could kill on you. purpose. Yeah. Like that. It's so hard to do on purpose. And he, <laughs> he had to try like 20 times. My guy's just looking. I, can we go back a little bit? I kind of want to see what everybody's doing. What everybody's I, I doing? Think for me, the humping of the lamp took over. So, like, what's going on the right side? Because sure. I never looked there. Yeah, she's listening to music. She's dancing. Stapling herself, I think. Her? The one on the far right. The far right? So, the one in the apron is saying Ave Maria. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What's that one doing? Uh, she picked up a phone to do something with. She's taping her eyes shut. Sure, but on the right, the right two. What are the yeah. right two doing? I can, I can tell yeah. everyone else. I mean, they just I think she's just dancing tell what they're doing. and playing with the well, phone. She, so she pulled phone. out her hair. Yeah. So she's dancing with the phone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
and then tape, and then licking a thing, licking, licking the, the pole, and then he's taking a and then he's a, photocopying his ass. Yeah. yeah. All right. A lot of ass stuff with that guy. Yeah. Um, y Block also says, if you guys didn't know, uh, Ki Hu Kwan. I don't know if I said that right. Made his first movie appearance in decades since of, since leaving Hollywood due to a lack of options for young Asian actors. He wanted to get back into acting when he got FOMO after watching Crazy Rich Asians, and he was great in this. It's a hell of a movie to come back to. It is. And he did great. Yep. He did amazing. And lost his time. Nope. It just something in his face. I just saw like, no time for love, Dr. Jones. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> I love how he's such a different character with the glasses on and off. Yeah. Just switches. But ironically, all of them are the alphas. Like, there's no beta version of him. He's an alpha. All right. I don't have too many all left right. here. Uh, Doby Greg says, I enjoyed the mom finally learning to be more considerate and understanding of her daughter's struggle, but I felt the reconciliation with the grandfather was much too easy. Did the grandfather turn around work for you guys? Yep. My only thought was, like, I wasn't too sure what happened... Like we had the him like say girlfriend, mm -hmm. that was holding her hand, turn around. and then I wasn't one hundred percent sure what happened yeah. there after we left. After we left, there was a scene of her like pushing him around in his wheelchair, and they were like yeah. laughing and. But that's just a good time. Yeah, I, I was just I, in the I, hospital. They were pushing me down the hallways. Like yeah. that was fun. I, I, I'm not under any delusion that like well he's like I'm okay with it now you know but I think that him realizing what he did to his daughter and then what his daughter's doing to their daughter and he might just yeah. kind of be like it's whatever I have a family yeah, I don't I, care. I, I, and that's who my family is whatever I, I think he probably that, still doesn't like it I think the, the you know her character saying like you know why did you let me go so easily yeah why why is that a thing that needs to happen I'm not going to do that with my daughter and I don't think you should expect me to yeah this is the way it is and he's like okay yeah I think as much as uh, a man from his time could accept that has accepted it. Yeah. Uh, movie polls also said about why uh, Short Round had left Hollywood, but also yeah. said Raccoonie, Raccoonie was voiced by Pixar, Pixar songwriter Randy Newman. He <laughs> didn't score Ratatouille, though. What? I'm like, um, <laughs> what? All right. Then years go by. <laughs> it's a jungle after. <laughs> Let me read this last one. This here. There's one more left here. I'll read it out loud, and then I don't know if we want to do it or not. Uh, would love to hear your thoughts about what you think the googly eyes represent. Overall, I loved how they explored uh, nihilism. Nihilism. Mm -hmm. I'd say nihilist. And how, if you experience everything like the bagel, there's nothing left, and therefore nothing really matters. And therefore, we should truly focus on our reality and not worry about what could have been if we had made some small decision differently. Yeah. Also, absolutely love the mother-daughter dynamic, especially as as an Asian daughter. It was very relatable. Yeah. Uh, so, Gua Guavis mainly wants to know what we think the googly eyes represent. I think it's just the father trying to inject just a little bit of joy into everyday life. Sure. Like, if there's one time where you're in a bad mood and you're having to do a chore or something like that, and you find something with googly eyes on it, mm -hmm. and it just gives you... Just a little bit of, yeah. a, of a silly feeling. Yeah, I took it as it's his perspective, right? Sure. So whenever she says, I'm not going to fight like this, I'm going to fight like you, and she yeah. places that googly eye over the per pituitary gland, the third <laughs> eye, like she literally can see everything through her and his perspective, yeah, which yeah. is what made her the one. It represents the opposite of nihilism, where all reality is is what you give meaning to something. Yeah. I also think that like it shows a transition of her from the very beginning when she's like she doesn't yeah. agree with him she doesn't like him you know she's she's much more callous i guess yeah. like she's, she's taking off everything she yeah. is and stuff and then by the end of it she's embracing the googly eyes and it's part of what she's using to kind of combat mm -hmm. all the craziness and yeah. add kindness into the world rather than fighting against everything like embrace it don't fight against everything yeah. so it's crazy the the things that you find annoying or the things that it's like oh, why do they do that, you know, are the things that you miss the most when they're gone. Like sure. if, you, if you imagine this man passing away, every time they found a new googly eye, they didn't know it was there. She would yeah. very special. Sure. Well, that, uh, something like that happened. Uh, there was a guy who would hide little rubber ducks, mm -hmm. like everywhere throughout his house yeah. and his work and everything like that. 
and he passed away and for several years afterwards they would keep finding mm -hmm. damn little rubber, these little rubber duckies huh? and every time it would be uh, like I miss I miss that yeah. Yeah, moment but that's the last of our Q&A's for uh, the movie. Thank you guys for submitting some Q&A's. Keep an you. eye on our Twitter. Follow us down in the description below, uh, at Blind Wave Crew, and we may have more Q&A's for future movies and stuff. Just something we wanted to try out and be able to talk about, uh, especially this one. I didn't know what it all was about, so having Q&A's for this one was interesting. Yeah, it was Indeed. definitely a, a good one definitely. to start with. So, <sighs> All right, anything else for the movie, guys? It was just a ride, I feel like. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. What am I going to do the rest of my day? Uh, Week? Year? Life? Eat a hot dog? You're right. I love how it centered me. It brought me back. Better. I don't love how out of the ends of the hot dogs, it ketchup shoots out ketchup and, ketchup mustard and mustard were stuff. squirting when they were apparently aroused. making love yeah, or aroused or something. You know what, though? Stuff. I'm glad they did both. Take a second. It's first base. You know? I'm glad they did have ketchup been and mustard. Relish. They didn't pick one or the other, you know? Mayonnaise. Maybe each finger does a different one. Maybe. You know, but you don't want to shoot mayonnaise out of a hot dog finger because now you're looking a lot Maybe more. Maybe you do. Wait. A lot. Wait, wait, wait. Subscribe. <laughs>